Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet the cozy quick mittens. This is very easy project. It's great for beginner and it's fit most women hands. I have free written pattern. It's available on my blog, but if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on my Etsy and my Ravelry store. And I will put all the links in the description below. I hope you enjoy! Here is the materials that I use for this project. For this project, you will need size 4 medium weight yarn. And I use Shipji Stonewash XL. This is size 4 medium weight yarn. And here is the color code A59. This for this color. As you can see in the picture, I have a lot of different colors. So yeah, you just go look whatever color you prefer. Okay? And in each ball is have 82 yards. So I use um, about 130 yards. So two balls. This is what I have left. Okay? So yeah, about 130 yards to make uh, the mittens. And then this fur yarn. So I cannot find the tag for this. I believe it's line brand. Go for fur. But yeah, in any yarn will work any kind of like a thin um, fur yarn. It's not too thick and not too thin either. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I can't find the tag. It's going to be right here. And this is optional. You don't need to use this yarn if you don't like. Okay, but I think it looks very cute around here. Okay, and then crochet hook, size 5 millimeter. Scissors, stitch marker, and yarn needle. And please check in description below for more details. Okay, before we start, I just want to talk about this pattern a little bit. For this pattern, it's very easy to make. So we will start at the top here. We're going to make a magic green and then we will crochet in round. Okay, and then we will leave some stitch open for the thumb hole and we continue crochet this way and then we will crochet the thumb later it's very easy and both sides make exactly the same and it doesn't matter which side you choose to be the left or the right because they are the same see here very nice and very easy as well. And the size for this mittens is fit most women hands. It is about 9.5 inches tall and about 8 inches circumferent. And keep that in mind, this a little stretchy as well. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna make a magic ring. You can use any method you prefer for making the magic ring. So I'm gonna hold the yarn like this, and then I twist like this, and hold it right here, and then insert the hook into that loop, and then yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and chain one. The chain one doesn't count at a stitch, it's the part of a magic ring. And now we have a magic ring. Okay, here's what it looks like. And then round one, we're gonna make eight half double crochet into this ring space. So I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into this ring space, pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. I yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. This is my first half double crochet on round one. And I'm gonna place this stitch marker into the first half double crochet. And then I'm gonna make seven more half double crochet into the same ring space. So yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the ring space, pull up a loop, 
three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Just keep repeating that until you have eight half double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop. We have double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop. Make half double crochet. Keep doing that. Okay. Now I have eight half double crochet. And then next, I'm gonna pull this tail tight to close up this hole. Okay, just pull it tight like that. And for this pattern, we're gonna make in spirals. We're not gonna slip stitch at all. We're just gonna keep making half double crochet over and over, okay? So this is the end of round one. And I have a total of eight half double crochet stitches around. And then for round two, we're gonna make two half double crochet into each stitch around to increase. And to do that, I'm gonna remove the stitch marker first. Okay, and then make two half double crochet into that stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook into the first stitch here where we just remove the stitch marker. And then pull up a loop and make half double crochet. This is the first half double crochet on round two. And every time you make the first half double crochet, place the stitch marker back in, okay? So you see where is the first stitch. All right, and then I'm gonna make one more half double crochet into the same stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch here. Pull up a loop and make half double crochet. And then two half double crochet into the next stitch. And then two half double crochet into the next stitch. Oops, sorry. And two half double crochet into the next stitch. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. Two half double crochet into the next. Two half double crochet into the next. Two half double crochet into the next, which is the last stitch. Okay. And then at the end of round two, I have a total of 16 half double crochet stitches around. Here's what this look like. And then for round three, we're gonna make one half double crochet into the first stitch and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we just repeat that around. It's like one, two, one, two, one, two around. Okay, I show you. So to start round three, we're gonna remove this stitch marker and make one half double crochet into the first stitch. And then don't forget to place this stitch marker back in. And then we're gonna make two half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're just gonna repeat that. One half double crochet into the next and two half double crochet into the next. Repeat that, one half double crochet into the next, two half double crochet into the next. Repeat that, one half double crochet into the next, and two half double crochet into the next, like that. Okay, Okay. just keep repeating that around. So, one half double crochet into the next, two half double crochet into the next. One half double crochet into the next, 
two half double crochet into the next one half double crochet into the next two half double crochet into the next one half double crochet into the next and two half double crochet into the next which is the last stitch oops sorry okay I'm at the end of round three and I have a total of 24 half double crochet stitches around. Here's what it looks like. And now for round four to round 13, we're gonna make one half double crochet into each stitch around. We're gonna stop uh, increase. Okay, I show you. So round four, we're gonna remove this stitch marker first and make one half double crochet into the first stitch and don't forget to place this stitch marker back in and then one half double crochet into each stitch around no more increase Okay, here's what it looks like so far. All right, just keep making one half double crochet into each stitch around. Okay, I'm at the end of round four. And I have the same 24 half double crochet stitches around because we're not increase anymore. Okay. And then for round five to round 13, you're just going to repeat round four. One half double crochet into each stitch around. And every round, you should have the same amount of these stitches, which is 24 half double crochet because we're not increased or decrease. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to show you one more round, which is round five. Just repeat round four. So remove this stitch marker and make one half double crochet into the first stitch. And then place this stitch marker back in. And one half double crochet into each stitch around. Very easy. Okay, now I'm at the end of round five and I have the same 24 half double crochet stitches around because we're not increase or decrease. Okay, as you can see, it start to come down like this. Start to shape a little bit here. And yeah, I just gonna keep repeating round four until I have 13 rounds and I will meet you guys back in. And when I reach the end of round 13, it'll be around here. And then after that, we will uh, create the thumb hole. And I will be back and show you how to do that. Okay? And yeah, I will be back when I reach the end of round 13. All right? Make sure you count your stitches and take your time. I'm at the end of round 13 here. Here's what it looks like. So the end of row. 13 your project should reach around here okay if it's around here feel free to add more rounds because some people crochet tighter than the other so yeah so the end of row 13 you should reach around here all right and then for row 14 i gonna remove this stitch marker and make one half double crochet into the first stitch and then place the stitch marker back in and then we're gonna create the thumb hole so i gonna chain seven chain loosely okay so one two three four five six seven and then skip three stitches one two and three and then make one half double crochet into the next stitch 
So, I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the next stitch here, skip 3 stitches, okay? And then pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. And here is going to be the thumb hole. And then make one half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're just going to make one half double crochet into each stitch around. Okay, I'm at the end of round 14. Here is what it looks like. And I have a total of 28 stitches, includes the chain stitch as well. Okay, and I want to show you. Here's going to be the thumb hole, like that. Okay, <laughs> and then round 15 we're gonna make one half double crochet into each stitch around so remove this stitch marker first and make one half double crochet into the first stitch and then place this stitch marker back in and then one half double crochet into the next stitch which is the chain stitch we're gonna treat the chain stitch as a normal stitch okay so yarn over the hook Insert the hook into the next stitch here and make half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next stitch, which is the next chain. Half double crochet into the next chain. Half double crochet into the next. Half double crochet into the next. And half double crochet into the next. 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 Like that. Just keep making one half double crochet into each stitch around. So here's what it looks like so far. See? Okay, so yeah, keep making one half double crochet into each stitch around here. And I will meet you guys back in when you reach the end of round 15. I'm at the end of row 15 here and I have 28 half double crochet stitches around. And then for round 16, we're gonna decrease. Just a little bit, not too much. So remove this stitch marker first. This is round 16, okay? So we're gonna make one half double crochet into each of next five stitches and then make half double crochet two stitches together and then repeat that. Okay, I show you, don't worry. So I'm gonna make one half double crochet into the first stitch and then place this stitch marker back in half the crochet into the next just make half the crochet until you have five stitches so so far I have two half double crochet so this is three four and five here's what it look like and then we're gonna decrease we're gonna make half the crochet two stitches together so you yarn over your hook insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, don't do anything yet. You yarn over your hook and then insert the hook into the next stitch. And then pull up a loop. You have five loops on the hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That's how we make half double crochet two stitches together and then that's how we decrease. Like that. And then we're just gonna repeat that. We're going to make one half double crochet into each of next five stitches 
and then half double crochet the next two stitches together. So I show you. I'm gonna make half double crochet into the next, 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 and then half double crochet into the next. And after you have five half double crochet, you're gonna make half double crochet the next two stitches together. So yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. You have five loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is how we have double crochet two stitches together. And just repeat that. Half double crochet into each of next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And then half double crochet next two stitches together. Do the same. Okay, and then half double crochet into each of next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And five. And then half double crochet the next two stitches together, which is the last two stitches. Do the same. Five loops on the hook, yarn over and put through all the loops on the hook, like that. This is round 16. And the end of round 16, I have a total of 24 half double crochet stitches around. So when you make the Half double crochet two stitches together is count as one half double crochet because we decrease that stitches to one stitch. Okay, so yeah, I have 24 half double crochet stitches around. And then for round uh, 17 to round 23, we're just gonna make one half double crochet into each stitch around. Let's make sure you. So round 17, we remove this stitch marker first and make half double crochet into the first stitch. And then place this stitch marker back in. Then half double crochet into the next, 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 like that. Okay, just keep making one half double crochet into each stitch around. I'm at the end of round 17 and I have a total of 24 half double crochet stitches around and for round 18 to round 23 I gonna repeat round 17 and every round I should have the same amount of these stitches which is 24 half double crochet stitches around because we not increase or decrease anymore okay so I want to show you here's what it looks like so far Okay, and I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. You just make half double crochet into each stitch around. Fairly easy. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and keep repeating round 7 over and over until I have total of 23 rounds. And I will be back when I reach the end of round 23. Good luck and take your time. Okay, now I'm at the end of row 23 here. And here's what it looks like. I try it on and show you. Okay. And if you want longer than this, you just keep adding more rows. Okay. Just repeat round uh, 17 over and over if you want longer than this. For me, I have 23 rounds. I think it's perfect length. All right. So this is the last stitch of round 23 and then next I'm gonna cut the yarn. I leave a little bit of tail just enough to weave in the end later. Cut the yarn here 
and then I pull the yarn out like that and I just remove this stitch marker and I'm just gonna weave the end now I bring my yarn needle insert the tail into my yarn needle and then I skip the next stitch insert my needle into the next stitch here and bring it in and then insert my needle back to the last half the double crochet uh, where the tail come from right here right into the middle here and go inside like that and bring it in okay see here and then weave the end inside Just keep weaving the end, make sure it's secure, and then you trim the tail. And here is what it looks like. And then I'm gonna use the fur yarn here to crochet one more round, which is round 24. And this is optional, you don't have to use this yarn if you don't like, but I like how it looks. So, and I'm gonna show you into the normal yarn because this yarn is a little difficult to see but it's really easy just single crochet around but I'm gonna use this yarn anyway so you can insert your hook anywhere you like to add a new yarn I'm gonna insert right here and then bring the new yarn and hold it on the back and then yarn over hook pull our loop and then chain one okay and then the chain one doesn't count at a stitch. I'm gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around. So I'm gonna insert the hook into the first stitch here, the same stitch where I add a new yarn. Pull up a loop and make single crochet. So single crochet into the next. I'm gonna weave this end as I go, so I work over this end, this tail. You don't have to do that. You can weave the end later, but I just wanna show you what I do. Okay? So I insert the hook into the next stitch here. See, I work over this end and then pull up a loop, two loops on my hook, yarn over and put through those two loops. And then keep repeating that around. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop and make single crochet, single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next, like that. Just keep doing that around, okay? And I'm gonna take this out, I'm gonna use this to show you. Do the same thing. So add a new yarn around here. Hold it on the back, pull up a loop and chain one. And make single crochet into each stitch around. See, a little difficult to see, right? <laughs> That's why I show you into that normal um, yarn first. So yeah, just keep making one single crochet. So at the end here, I'm going to cut the yarn like that and then pull the yarn out and weave the end. I bring my yarn needle here It's a little difficult to see, you just have to feel it Just insert your needle in there Nothing fancy, just hide your end, hide your tail. Leave the end inside. Just keep doing that until you think it's secure and then you trim the tail and you're done with this part. And here's what it looks like. Really cute. I love it. Alright, and then next we're going to make the thumb part here. And 
I bring my yarn, my main yarn here, and then you can add the new yarn anywhere you you like around the thumb hole. I'm gonna insert into this corner here, and then we're gonna add a new yarn and then make um, 14 half double crochet stitches around this thumb hole evenly. So I show you. I insert my hook here, bring the new yarn, yarn over, pull up a loop, and chain one. And the chain one doesn't count it as stitch. And I'm gonna make one half double crochet into the same stitch that I just add the new yarn. So yarn over, insert the hook there, pull up a loop, yarn over and put through all the loops on the hook. This is the first half double crochet on round one for the thumb. And we're gonna place this stitch marker into the first stitch in every round again, okay? And this is kind of difficult to see the normal stitches around here, but like I said, just try to make uh, 14 half double crochet evenly around. So this one, I'm gonna make one right here. So I yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch here. And I also work over this tail so I can hide this tail at, I, as I go. <laughs> and then pull up a loop, make half double crochet. So far I have two. So next stitch here. Three. Next stitch here. So this part is easy to see. Four. Next stitch here. Five, next stitch here, six, next stitch here, seven, okay, so next stitch here, eight, nine, Next stitch here, a little difficult to see, take your time. 10, next stitch here, oops, 11, next stitch here, 12, next stitch here, 13, next stitch here, right here, okay, okay, now I have 14 stitches around, that's what this looks like. And yeah, I want you to double check how your stitches, make sure you have 14 stitches. Alright, the end of round 1, I have 14 half double crochet stitches around. For round 2, we're going to remove this stitch marker and make half double crochet into each stitch around. So, remove this stitch marker first and remember that stitch, okay? So, yarn over, insert the hook into the first stitch there. And then pull up a loop and make half double crochet and place this stitch marker back in. And then half double crochet into the next, 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 and half double crochet into the next. Doing that around. Okay. I'm at the end of round two here, and I have a total of 14 half double crochet stitches around because we not increase or decrease. 
and then for round three to round five, you're gonna repeat round two. Just make half the crochet into each stitch around. I show you a few stitches here on round three. So remove this stitch marker first, and then, like I said, just repeat round two. Make half the crochet into the first stitch here, and then don't forget to place this stitch marker back in, and then half the crochet into each stitch around. Very easy. Okay, so yeah, keep making half the crochet into each stitch around, and then um, this is round three, okay? And then I will meet you guys back in when I reach the end of round five. And every round, you should have the same amount of the stitches, which is 14 half double crochet stitches around. And yeah, I will be back when I reach the end of round five. Okay, now for my thumb, I'm at the end of round five. And then for round six, we're gonna start uh, decreasing. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this stitch marker and this is round six. I'm gonna make one half double crochet into each of next five stitches and then half double crochet the next two stitches together and repeat that around. So I make half double crochet into the first stitch here and then place the stitch marker back in and then half double crochet into the next, half double crochet into the next, half double crochet into the next, half double crochet into the next. Okay, and when you have five half double crochet here, you're gonna make half double crochet the next two stitches together to decrease. So, yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, five loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat that, make half the double crochet into each of next five stitches. So, one, two, three, four, and five. And then half the double crochet the next two stitches together, which is the last two stitches. So yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Five loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook, like that. Okay, this is the end of round six, and I have a total of 12 half double crochet stitches around. And when we make half double crochet two stitches together, it's, it's count as one half double crochet because we decrease that uh, two stitches into one stitch. All right, and yeah, I have 12 half double crochet stitches around. And then for round seven, it's gonna be the final round. We're gonna make half double crochet, two stitches together around. So remove the stitch marker first, and then half double crochet, two stitches together. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into first stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, pull up a loop. Five loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Oops, sorry. I just dropped that. Okay. This is the first stitch, and place this stitch marker back in, and then half double crochet next two stitches together. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, pull up a loop. Five loops on the hook. Yarn over and put through all the loops on the hook, and then half double crochet next two stitches together. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, pull up a loop, five loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. And then half two stitches together, sorry, half double crochet the next two stitches together. So yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, pull up a loop, 
five loops on the hook, yarn over and put through all the loops on the hook. And then half double crochet the next two stitches together. Just repeat that around, okay? Five loops on the hook, yarn over and put through all the loops on the hook. So half double crochet the last two stitches together. Five loops on the hook, yarn over and put through all the loops on the hook. Like that. This is the end of round seven, and I have a total of six half double crochet stitches around. So next, I'm gonna cut the yarn and leave about 10 inches long tail enough to close up the thumb hole here at the top. So eight to 10 inches tail. I cut it, and then I pull the yarn out like that. And then I bring my yarn needle, insert the tail into my yarn needle. And remove the stitch marker. And then I'm gonna insert my needle like in and out every stitches. Okay? So first stitch here, I insert in and then out. And then I can bring it out. Next stitch in and out. Okay, and then next stitch in and out. Like that. And then pull this uh, tail tight to close up the hole like that. And then I'm gonna bring this tail inside the thumb here so we can weave the end inside. Bring it in, and then you just need to weave the end inside here, okay? Oh, sorry. Yeah, just weave the end, and you need to weave all the end, and you're done. That's it. I'm going to weave the end later, and I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. So I'm not going to show you. And we're done. And both make exactly the same, okay? And like I said, it doesn't matter which side you choose to be the left side or the right side because they are the same. I'm gonna put it on and show you. It's really cute. Look at that. Yay! Congratulations, guys! I hope you enjoy making this project. If you do, please give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and I will appreciate it so much. And yeah, it's very easy, right? Very easy project and very good project for uh, gift for Christmas. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next video. Bye-bye.